Hey everyone, Everyday Aficionados here with another beer review. Today we're taking a look at Westbrook Gosa. This is 4% ABV and 5 IBUs. It is a traditional German style sour wheat ale and it's made with coriander and salt. This style kind of went away for a while but it's starting to grow in popularity as of recently. It's supposed to be sort of like a summer session style type of beer. This is a summer seasonal and it first came out in April 2012, so it's a fairly new beer. The design of the can is so cool. It's just all this sort of pale white across the whole thing, this off white with black and gold lettering and trim. It's really awesome looking. Yeah. And there's so many like little nuances and little images and designs. Here you've got hops, you've got wheat, you've got barley. Stars, moons. It's just really well thought out and well put together. It actually uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, Mexican folk art. I love it. It feels like a work of art. Yeah. And that's really what I want to see in branding for beers and liqueurs and all alcohol is for the presentation to look just as impressive as what's inside. And I feel really hopeful just to open this can. It's really cool. It's got an okay head. Uh, it's a little thin. Very bubbly. Very bubbly. Very cloudy. M yeah, medium to large size bubbles for the head. It goes away pretty fast. It's like a creamy yellow, I would say. Very hazy. The head dissipated pretty quickly. Looks kind of thin. So right off the bat, real sour. I'm definitely getting that coriander. Kind of smells like, like salt water, seawater. Nice tangy wheat malt to this one. It smells really interesting. Yeah, really interesting. Cheers. It reminds me of like a margarita, kind of. Mm -hmm. It's like a Sour Patch Kid. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's like. It's just like sucking on... A lemon Sour Patch. Yeah, lemon Sour Patch. Because it's like got that upfront sour... Mm. And then it's just, ooh, it's okay, it's okay. Here, oh, it's, soothing it's, sweetness. It's kind of got like a warhead quality to it also. <laughs> yeah, just like that really like mouth puckering sourness. Definitely get that lemon. It tastes like a salty lemon. Mm -hmm. There's no other way of putting it besides that. I think it's kind of light bodied. The sour quality just makes it feel so dynamic. Mm -hmm. Definitely get some of that like tangy wheat malt that really plays off the salt nicely. Definitely getting some of that coriander too. Like a little bit of like that nutty kind of spicy coriander and it kind of adds a nice little complexity to this it's great because after the sour is gone the wheat that's there doesn't like fight against it it just like effortlessly moves from the sour right into that nice malty wheat taste finish is pretty dry you get that like lingering saltiness on your tongue and on your lips there is like a bit of a fruitiness in this one too it almost tastes like a stone fruit, like a peach or something like that, that hasn't ripened yet. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's got that tart quality, very mm -hmm. tart. Good amount of carbonation. It's like if a lemonade was sweetened with salt instead yeah. of uh, sugar. All right, so we've got two empty glasses, and that means unanimous recommendations. For me, this beer is definitely a four out of five. I think it's a really good session beer. If you can get your hands on this, it's definitely worth a try if you're interested in this style at all. You have to like sour. You have to like salty. If you don't, this isn't for you. And this beer is not for everyone, but it's for me. I really like it. It's really nice to sip on, and I could definitely see myself enjoying one of these on a hot day. It's really tasty. It's completely different from anything that I've ever had. And just based off of that, it's definitely worth a shot. Yeah, I agree. For me, it's a strong four. It's really delicious. 
I love the sour qualities of it. Again, it's like a whiskey sour or like a margarita. I never imagined a beer like this. I did not expect it going into it, even when I heard it was sour. It's just really cool and unique and well executed. Of course, this being the only Goza I've had, I can't say it's like a paradigm of the genre, but it's a really good beer and it's really interesting beer and I think it's just worth it to try it just to see what beers can do. It's a testament to the variety in beer and you should definitely pick it up and try it sometime. It's a good one. It's the Everyday Aficionados with our Westbrook Gosa review. Until next time, thanks for watching. Everyday Aficionados. I wonder what the sodium content is of this. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful if you have a cut in your mouth. <laughs> 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 <laughs>